Hey, what's happening you guys? Otrain23 here. So I thought I'd give you guys a little update on my loadout, what it's currently looking like, what changes I've made since I've last made that video about things from Amazon and Wish. This is currently my outdoor loadout. I'll go through it. Uh, so what we have here is we have some base um, camo, um, shirt and pants. I got my helmet up here, got my dye mask, camera, I also have my battery pack back here. Um, going down, this is my new addition. It's the One Tigress low profile tactical vest. And uh, this is my new plate carrier. It's actually really awesome. Um, I'm gonna show you guys what that is. This is my VFC Avalon caliber CQB version. Um, yeah, I got uh, a uh, Holographic sight. Um, I also got uh, some KWA mags, but I also am running now these, uh, of course, the EPM ones. These things are great. They feed well in the VFC Avalon, by the way, in case you're wondering. Um, so, yeah, that's what I'm running for my outdoor. Go ahead and take this off. Uh, since we're talking about guns, go to my secondary. I'm running the Salient Arms Red High Kappa. Um, I usually run at least two more mags that I fit in here, but uh, this is the full auto version. Yeah, and let's talk about the plate carrier. So the plate carrier is the, like I said, the One Tigress Low Profile Tactical Vest, um, but it does come with fake plates, and it also comes with an adjustable cummerbund which you adjust like so to your liking here. So if you're a small guy, kind of like me, you can tighten it up to however length you want. It also has shoulder adjustable straps, which is really nice compared to my last really cheap Wish uh, plate carrier from Wish.com. Um, it didn't really have that. So this is really nice. It's snug, um, as you can see, going around. It, it fits really nice. One neat thing is you can also fit mags on the side. They have mag pouches here. And they fit really nice and easy, just kind of under the arm right here. Um, they're not in the way or anything. So, you know, if you really need to reload, it's an easy grab, just like that. Also in terms of what you can attach to the plate carrier, um, as you can see here, I have the I have a play card. I also got the fanny pack pouch that you can buy on One Tigress. Um, I believe this is play card number two. There's three different kinds, and you can just get whatever kind you want. This kind has three mag pouches on the top here, as you can see. And they have really good straps that keep it in there, but uh, they fit. They have a lot of space there. which is nice. Um, it also has a big pouch right here. You can fit your keys or wallet or whatever you want in there. Um, you can fit, you know, a speed loader, pretty much anything. And then you got two, uh, two sidearm pouches or speed loader pouches, whatever you need. And I also got this, this fits grenades really well. Um, fits thunder bees. It fits uh, extra batteries in here I usually keep. And it's really nice. I mean, this is a huge upgrade from what I had. And easy enough, you can get a bunch of these, whatever kind you want. And all you gotta do is just smack it on. And you can clip it like so. This also comes in black and I think tan, but also multi-cam. So with my multi-cam setup, I thought it would match well. Yeah guys, so that in a nutshell is my current setup for outdoors. Um, I really like this setup. It's nice, it's easy, it's simple. 
and it's relatively cheap and that's the most important part. Yeah, if you guys have any more questions about my loadout, let me know in the comments below, like where to get stuff and all that. I'll have a link to the One Tigress vest um, and I'll also put a link to actually everything else I have here, um, including my gloves and all that. Hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll talk to you later. Hopefully I'll be sending you some new gunplay soon. And if there's anything else you'd like to see, just let me know. All right.